Are you looking for a DSCR for a commercial property or maybe a portfolio? So maybe there's an apartment building you're buying that is five units plus. Maybe it's 30 or 40 units, but you want the simplicity of a DSCR. Hey everyone, this is Mike Bond with the Cashflow Company. Today we're going to go over how do you use a DSCR or can you use a DSCR buying a multi-unit apartment building. Typically we think about DSCR for single family, maybe all the way up to duplexes and fourplexes, but you can use a product very similar. Sometimes it's not always called DSCR, but it functions the same way on multifamily apartment buildings. The only differences are your loan terms, what your DSCR requirements are, and even the requirements for the borrower. When you're looking at a product DSCR or similar for a commercial apartment building, what does that look like? So remember DSCR, what we're talking about here is a product that does not rely on income from the borrower or the borrowing entity. Typically it is an entity like an LLC, a partnership or something like that, but it does not look into or require income from the sponsors or the people who own the property. What it's looking at is the cash flow from the properties compared to expenses just like any other DSCR. A lot of the commercial DSCR is looking for at least a 1.2 DSCR, which means your income has to be 120% more than your expenses. For instance, if your expenses are $1,000, your rents are $1,200. So it is 1.2 or 120% higher than your expenses. So let's look at what the differences are between a typical DSCR on a single family all the way up to a fourplex and a DSCR type product that is used for multifamily. A typical DSCR loan for commercial type properties are larger loans. So they're looking for anywhere around that million to two million dollars when you put everything together. So this is not for smaller three or four hundred thousand dollar purchases. This is for something that has more units and more value, typically starting out at around a million dollars, even though there are options for loans in the half a million dollar range. LTVs also are probably a little bit lower. You're looking at a max of 75%, where in DSCR you could get 80 and 85 on those single families. Typically the loan terms are different. It's more based on a commercial or a bank type product where you're gonna find anywhere from a three, five, seven, or 10 year fixed period. Now they're amortized over 30 years or they can be interest only, just like a traditional DSCR. But what that means is they're only fixed for a certain period. The common ones are five and seven years. So they're fixed for five years or they're fixed for seven years. Then you either have to refinance them or they become adjustable. Depending on where the market is, if the market is going down, you might wanna stick with it because the adjustable rates may be lower than you were even paying before. Either way, when you're looking at a commercial DSCR type product compared to single family, you're going to find that the terms, the fixed rate periods are different and typically they're only five, seven, and maybe even 10 years. Now there are a couple requirements. I mean, typically they're looking for properties that have at least $50,000 in value or more. Minimum loan size are typically starting at a million dollars and some even two million dollars. Like I said before, if you're looking at multi-units or putting in a portfolio, that's not a big hurdle, but it can be in some of the smaller markets where you're picking up properties in you know the thirty or $40,000 price range. This may not be for you in that circumstance. Since there's multiple units, most lenders want at least 75 up to 90 percent of the units occupied this is not a great product for buying a value add fixing it up getting everything rented up and then getting it to the markets so this is a product where it's already stabilized where there's already people in the units that are bringing in rent so if you are looking at a value add or you're buying something under market it's not going to hit the 1.2 on the dscr and or occupancy meaning at least 75 but most of them want 90 percent occupancy this is not the product for that. You're still gonna have to go through appraisals on every property, verify rents on each property. All of those things are required on this. Now this works not only for commercial properties like a you know six or seven or 20 unit apartment building or larger, but it also works for portfolios. So if you have five or 10 single families you wanna put under one loan, you could put it under the same product. You could have one loan on multiple units as long as those units are typically worth appraised value of 50,000 or higher. Another great benefit of this is they are non-recourse. Non-recourse means you don't have to personally sign or personally guarantee it. It is all based on your LLC. So the lender's not gonna come back after you if something goes wrong and the loan goes upside down or you can't pay it or anything else like that. 
So non-recourse on these DSCRs is a huge benefit. But the big benefit is just like anything else, simplified because you don't have to provide all your tax returns. You don't have to show how long you've been in business and the income generated from other businesses. It's the same easy process as a single family, just more properties involved, but it is a great product. It is a simple product. As banks starting to tighten up, you could get into a commercial DSCR without having to go through all the hassle and timing of a bank. If you have a commercial property, this is a perfect loan for you because you're not gonna have to provide all your tax returns, all your income, all the stuff that drags out. You just need a good credit score, a loan to value that is typically 75% and below, units that start at least the value of 50,000 per door per unit, but put them all together, have to be a minimum of around a million dollars to qualify for a loan like this. If that works, you could use the same DSCR product for your commercial or portfolio loans. If you have any questions on a DSCR type loan for larger units, apartment buildings, or portfolios, just reach out to us. We have our email below. And as we always say, happy investing.